Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Ones to watch, Team 2 is here. The second week of a promo inside of FIFA 22 and the second week of Ones to Watch with 11 new players in packs. Of course, we're expecting guys like Messi, Lukaku, and a whole host of others to be in packs today as a part of Team 2 of Ones to Watch with more live items out in the game. What I want to take a look at today are my predictions and expectations for content with SBC's objectives and promo packs, and as well, just talk about this market and what in the world is going on as it continues to drop down lower, but I think honestly for a good reason because we saw and learned a lot from last week on Friday, which was a promo Friday with a lot of packs being opened, a lot of supply with promo packs for the beginning of ones to watch and I think that gave us kind of a sense of what might happen this week as well now there's a couple caveats thrown in there as weekend league actually starts today if you've qualified for foot champions finals that actually starts early today when this video is going to be going out and that's different right there's also rewards people are going to finish their foot champs games they're going to play all 20 of them Today on Friday, we're, we're going to have people getting foot champs rewards tonight, which is very, very weird to think about, but we'll see how that impacts the market as well. That's going to add an aspect of the unknown in there as well. Also, one last point before we get into things. We might have a big time SBC this morning with a Premier League player of the month. We had a couple yesterday to talk about those. We might see a POTM Cristiano Ronaldo. But first things first, we actually don't have a full team released to us. Last week on Thursday, EA Sports showed us the whole entire Ones to Watch squad. This time they haven't. They've just given us bits and pieces. And Fabrizio Romano yesterday gave us the last four players that are going to be in. One of my viewers, Vlad, put this squad together. These are all of the players that are in and that are confirmed for Ones to Watch Team 2. Now, uh, basically, we've got Wijnaldum, Lukaku, Ramos, Tomori, Messi, DePaul is one of the new ones confirmed, Danny Ings, Cucurella, Junior Firpo, uh, Bellerin, Paulinho. There's basically only like, if you count SBCs and objectives as maybe three to four cards that are in here, there's only like three or four more cards as well that we don't know about. So cards like Sancho, cards like uh, Sabitzer, cards like Depay, maybe Aguero, uh, Kuti Romero from Spurs, right? Or an Arsenal, Ben White. We're still very curious to know what are the couple cards that are still yet to be released. We will find those out today, depending on whether EA released that early before the 6 p.m. content drop or not. But we know like three quarters of the team, which is kind of crazy. And it's not, I think, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that because it doesn't, foster hype right it doesn't foster suspense it just kind of you know leaves us like all right we kind of know what's coming out today already before it drops in packs so regardless content wise today i am expecting a brand new ones to watch player sbc of course andre silva goes away pedro goes away today we're going to be left with these ones to watches um, and this one pack SBC that is still left here under the SBC section. I think if they were to put one of the cards they've released already into an SBC, I would expect somebody like Cucurella, maybe Correa, maybe Danny Ings to be an SBC player today. And then our objective player, we're probably going to get somebody as well, um, unless they're going to wait a little bit longer to do this. But Clivert and Kamavinga both have five days left on them. So Having three cards in here at one time is a lot, but I could see it happening. Um, and then, you know, somebody maybe like that Paulinho striker, the Paulinho center mid card, uh, the Bellerin again, the Furpo, maybe Tomori would be available via objectives. But I would expect to see one ones to watch item today in objectives and one in the SBCs. Now, other SBCs that we need to talk about, and I want to start talking about this early because rumors are starting to circle around that Cristiano Ronaldo has won the Premier League Player of the Month, right? And that would be a massive SBC that they would release right away early on. Now, we've learned a couple things from yesterday because we have the Koulibaly SBC that was released for our Player of the Month, and also we have Goose Till, our first ever Eredivisie and our first ever Serie A Player of the Month SBCs. In my opinion, these two SBCs, if we take a look at Koulibaly's price on this game, Koulibaly's gold card's like 19, 20,000 coins, and this Koulibaly SBC is about 159,000 coins. Um, it's got a lot of thumbs up on Footbin, but I think for a plus two upgrade, I just really think that this is not that great of a price point for this SBC. If it was about, you know, 40 to 50,000 coins less, if this was around the 100,000 coin range, I think it would be a great SBC. But what this kind of tells me is since this is a little bit overpriced, if we get a Cristiano Ronaldo today, 
I honestly think that our Ronaldo is going to be pretty expensive. I think that Ronaldo SBC would be upwards of 2 million coins. Now, the ones to watch Ronaldo has definitely dropped off in price in the last 24 hours. And I think that is because you can see here, Ronaldo went from almost 2.9 mil down to 2.6 for an hour here, 2.67 he was pretty low. I think a lot of people are expecting a Ronaldo player of the month today. Now, there's still an outside shot. We don't know for sure um, that Salah could also win player of the month. So regardless, we're going to have most likely Salah or Ronaldo, and it's going to be a pretty expensive player of the month SBC today. And, you know, if it's really, really expensive and it's going to take a long time to craft, a lot of people aren't able to spend that kind of coins on an SBC right now in this game. So I really don't know how much hype that is going to carry and going to have. So if you're somebody who has vested and in, invested in SBC fodder, you know, 82s, 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s, these cards have gone up a little bit because of that Koulibaly SBC. As you can see here, the 86s, you know, they went from 90 around high 90s all the way up into the 107 range. Then with pack supply yesterday, they dropped down. And that's one of the big things we're going to talk about today in regards to the market ex itself is again that pack supply. I really don't expect SBC fodder to go crazy today, even if we have Ronaldo SBC, just because again of the supply that's going to be coming onto the market in terms of promo packs and in terms of packs that will be opened with FIFA points and in the store. Now, I don't think there's going to be as much supply as last week, right? Today or yesterday on Thursday, they gave us 25,000 coin all player packs, right? Those are some of the biggest packs that we have seen as a part of this game yet. We've seen 25s and 35Ks as the biggest one. I'm honestly pretty, I'm pretty expecting today that they might drop for the first hour. They might drop 15 and 25K packs, maybe 12 and a half K packs and 25s. But I think a 25K pack or a 35K pack will be there during the first hour of the content drop. And again, people are going to have FIFA points. People are going to try to pack that once to watch Messi, once to watch Wijnaldum, Lukaku. If Sancho is in team two, if Depay is in team two, there's going to be a lot of supply again today from people that are opening up packs. Some people may have saved some packs. Again, it's probably not going to be as wild of a price drop off as you saw last week, right? Last week, you saw Kevin De Bruyne go from like 180,000 coins all the way down to 140 during that first hour of panic and of supply. Now, Kevin De Bruyne right now is about 179,000 coins. I would not be surprised if you still saw drop-offs today. So if there's any of these higher tier cards that you want to buy for your team, you want to buy for a squad, you know, I would, I would look, especially if you're gonna play weekend league, I would look to maybe get involved with a few of these players in the first hour or so with the packs being opened and also with a lot of selling, right? The market is down right now from where we have been. If we take a look at a couple of these prices, let's look at Goretzka, for example, 155,000 coins. He was 150 before rewards, went back up to 170 with marquee matchups pack supply yesterday and the 25Ks in the store. He went back down to 155 and he's kind of been chilling in the, the mid 150s with some slight bounces since then. What I'm really curious to see if, if there is more panic selling today on Friday heading into the actual drop because people are aware that how much promo packs and how much these packs that will be open today can supply the market with how insane the pack weight is this year. I think that's going to cause some people to sell off a little bit this morning. But what that also means is that a lot of people are going to be buying back later on tonight on Friday or in the second to third to fourth hour of the promo today with ones to watch, especially if the content isn't that insane. Most people's goal, if they have sold their team and, and they're waiting to buy low prices to go back out and play those games for the weekend league for the champions finals, they're going to be, their motivation is going to be buying a team back. So watch these really, really gold, the really, really meta gold cards, right? I even talk about a guy like Usman Dembele, 60,000 coins at the moment. Take a look at where this card went yesterday. He was 60,000 coins at rewards, dipped to 59, went back up to 64, down to 57, is now back up to 60. If this guy's 57K, the content drop tomorrow, and then gets panicked and, and packed and down to like 53, 54,000 coins, that's a great opportunity to snag a very, very meta, very overpowered and hyped up card in this game in a moment of supply. And also in that moment of supply, a lot of people are also waiting to buy their teams. So then you see a nice rise come on later from that. So same thing we've seen with some of the out of packs cards like 
heroes. These hero cards have dropped a ton. Ginola was extinct at 2 mil. He was 1.7 mil at one point earlier yesterday, right? Um, Abedi was 1.1. He is now 950,000 coins. Joel Cole was over 500. He's 460. Robbie Keane was 575 earlier today. Uh, Di Natale was down 200,000 coins. He's since rebounded back. So keep an eye on some of these hero cards because people have started selling these off significant amounts as they're worried about them getting packed this weekend as well. And these are going to be just like their icons are very rare cards. You can see 360K for Morientes. He was down to 315 before he bounced a little bit and then has also just kind of kept dropping down into this day on Friday. So Watch out for your heroes, your icons, and your out-of-packs team of the week one and two. If you want the safest cards to maybe trade with today or if you're looking to buy something for your team, I think that for some of these cards in the panic selling leading into the actual ones to watch team two content drop at 6 p.m. might be an opportunity to pick up on some of these cards. So that is kind of what I'm thinking. That's what I'm looking at on the market. Now, of course, once to watch team one is going out of packs and we still have some of these cards at really low prices. Now I made an investment. I bought some Antoine Griezmann once to watches. I bought them at 115,000 coins. He has since, since France lost yesterday and he did not get any goals scored. And I think people just sold the, the card because they wanted to have their coins. He has since gone down in price. But again, we're taking a look at some of these ones to watch team one cards and we're saying, hey, these are pretty low. Grealish, Alaba, Malin, Upamecano, Hakimi, who already might have an upgrade pending uh, with a goal and assist in a, in a midweek international game a couple days ago. Again, Griezmann, 111K, Leon Bailey is injured, but some of these cards, it's not a terrible idea when they're so cheap like this. These are live items, right? If you've got, you know, three, 400,000 coins, you know, a couple of these cards, maybe spend. 40 or 50K and buy a Malin and buy an Alaba. Stick them on your transfer list. Wait for them to rise. Or maybe you buy a Grealish uh, and you buy a Malin. Or maybe if you want to buy a Leon Bailey, he's coming back from injury, I think, in like one or two weeks. He's probably going to have an instant impact when he gets back on the pitch for Villa, right? So that kind of stuff, if you have some disposable coins, not a terrible idea to put some coins into these ones to watches because they're live cards. And live cards are some of the items in foot that do the best out of packs, especially if it's a card that you think could potentially get a special card because they're a prolific attacking player or they just get in forms in FIFA, right? There's a couple of players like that, like, you know, like Grealish probably going to get some special cards. Or if your team, if you think their team's going to get that wins to watch upgrade, that would be something to kind of watch out for as well. So for myself, purely trading today on this game, I'm going to be looking at a lot of heroes and icons and out of packs team of the week's cards because I know that these cards are rare, that they are popular, and that they are going to be bought up by a lot of people today. Now, I bought a Desai earlier today for 725,000 coins, and it looks like the cheapest one on the market right now is 790. So I'm gonna go list mine up for a pretty good price because I'm gonna try to take some profit here. This is a very nice flip. This is kind of what you expect to see uh, today on this game. This Desai was down at 730,000 coins. Earlier on Thursday, I bought him because I knew that he would be getting rare tonight. So I'm going to list this up at 787, take my profit. And that's the kind of market rise that we're hoping for today and going from the content drop today on Friday into the evening time on Friday night as well. But again, the very interesting thing we're going to have to work through today, it's going to be a learning experience for all of us, is the very first time that Foot Champions Rewards are actually out tonight. People that are going to grind through their 20 foot champions final games uh, are going to be able to get their rewards instantaneously when they play all 20 games. So we're going to find that out today, see how that impacts the market and could create for some interesting movements for things as we especially go into Saturday and as we go into Sunday, it's going to be a brand new territory for all of us this weekend in terms of the market and how this foot champions, the brand new setup of it kind of takes its shape across this game. But again, in summary, today what I'm expecting is a drop on some cards with supply. Anything that is impacts the team of the week three, the ones to watch team two cards, heroes, icons, maybe taking a dip, you know, in the first hour or so of the content drop, then starting to rise afterwards and watch the panic selling this morning heading into the 6 p.m. time frame 
on your out of packs and forums, your ones to watches, icons and heroes, because those are rare cards that are going out of packs or already are out of packs. Um, and then, you know, probably seeing some of those, especially if they're meta and popular, rising into the evening as people who sold cards and were waiting for this low point, buy stuff back and we see the market rise up with demand for the first weekend league aka for champions finals so that's what i'm expecting on the market today again it's going to be really really curious i'm really curious to see if ronaldo wins player of the month how much they make his SBC. We might even have two player of the months again today. We might have the Bundesliga or La Liga player of the month released, but Ronaldo or Salah, the Premier League player of the month is for sure going to be dropping today. And that'll be very interesting to see what happens. So good luck if you're opening packs. I hope you pack something sick. Of course, if you have not checked out the video that we posted last night, yes, I do have two icons in my team, and one of them is middle R9. I actually, I absolutely had an insane pack yesterday. Make sure you check out that video. I'm going to link it right up here right now. Check that out. It was absolutely insane. The pack pull of a lifetime. So make sure you, you give that a watch as we packed it live on stream. But that's the video for today, boys. Once to watch two is here. It's going to be a blast. We'll be watching it and covering it all live. Twitch.tv slash the foot account down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the foot account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.